and welcome to a brand new mini series. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video that you're seeing, hi. This series is a side series of my main royal family series. So if you have not seen that yet, I do highly recommend watching it because a lot of references you might not get in this series. However, that does not mean you have to watch the main series in order to watch this series. But if, if you are interested in watching it, I will link a video below that has all the information you need for starting it. It's just like the easiest way to start it. So um, that is linked in the description below. But this mini series is going to be following Princess Alice May and Prince Cedric of Windenburg, their brother and sister. And Alice May is going to university and Cedric is going to high school slash prep school. And I will get into all the information you need to know when we start. We will also be seeing some other characters some of you guys may know like Lord William, Alice May and Cedric's cousin and also Lady Tally which is Cedric's friend and we'll see a whole bunch of other fun characters too and there might be a lot of drama in this series but also just like a lot of fun and some people might be meeting Endgame so we will see. let's just go ahead and get started. So we are going to first start off this series with Cedric at Alliance Prep School and and this school is for the teenagers of the Alliance. They can decide to go to this prep school. They can choose if they want to room in. This is in Copperdale, but technically this is very close to Winnenberg, Willow Creek, and Oasis Springs. So a lot of the Sims that are further and in other kingdoms, they do choose to room here and, and live in a dorm here. Um, Cedric's actually one of the only ones who aren't in the dorms. If I mean, most of you guys know already, if you know Cedric's parents, they are very strict and they would not let him live in the dorms, but we'll, 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 we'll talk about that a bit later. So they are currently just waiting for school to start. This is Cedric's first day. He's super, super excited. For those also who don't know, he's actually in a relationship too with this movie star named Sterling McGowan. However, Sterling is not going to school here. Sterling is off being a movie star, so they are, they're, they've been long distance already, but Sterling is also traveling a lot, so we will hopefully get to see Sterling more in this series but Cedric right now is going to be more focused on school why don't we first look for the friend that he knows here which is Lady Tally so they're definitely like besties here um, although she's tense maybe she's nervous for her first day of school also those who know her older sibling or older sibling is Nani which is Alice May's friend which a lot of y'all probably know um, because they are in the teen group a lot, um, which are no longer teens anymore. Okay, a lot of this we're going to get to see dynamics, so that's why I love the first episode of things because it's going to just kind of like set the groundwork for the rest of the series and we get to like meet all these really wild people. And I think by now word has spread that Cedric is a prince and that, oh, oh, speaking of, okay, so Cedric is a prince and that he is attending this school. So a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, like, like that's that's such a big deal. We talked about this on stream, so my stream helped me make all of these Sims, and uh, they, we do have our little clicks. We have our typical high school clicks. We have the Jacks, the Bros. We have our Mean Girls, which so one of them is here. This is our so-called Regina George. Her name is Chelsea. She is like the leader of the pack. She and her friends, who we will find them and meet them as well, like idolize. I feel like Alice May, Molly Grace, like they are just, you know, they're, they're like, they, they see them as icons. They're like, oh, like their fashion sense. We wanted to be just like them. So then they found out Cedric was coming to the school and I feel like they might try to get closer to Cedric because they like love his sister so much. So we'll see kind of like if Cedric catches on to these kind of things because a lot of these teens, they might have, they do have ulterior motives. So we'll have to see who like the loyal ones are. I don't, so she's talking right now to Lady Nora. I don't know if this is a good conversation. Tally's actually in the same dorm as Chelsea and her friends. There's Penny and there is, oh no, 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 I forgot her name. Um, she's like essentially like the Karen, um, 
Oh, oh shoot. Okay, well, you know what? We'll, we'll see her in a sec. Once I see her name, I'm gonna be like, oh my gosh, of course. Right now, Cedric does have to learn about the new school from the principal. So let's try to find the principal. I saw the principal a second ago, I swear. Oh my gosh. Okay, finally. I Okay, these trees I might have to get rid of here. Um, also, I didn't have one of the packs when I downloaded this. I put the name in the beginning of the video uh, for the original builder, but they also have amazing builds. If you haven't checked out the rest of their stuff, you definitely should. Um, I didn't have one of the packs, so I, I do need to put that wallpaper on. But I found the principal. That's also because I didn't have one of the packs. That's why you see some blue rugs everywhere. I tried to get rid of it um, as many as I could, but I think I missed a few. But this is our principal here, so he's going to do a respectful introduction. Oh, the principal is all the way on the third floor. Because um, our goal here is to learn about the new school. I bet the principal, too, is like, oh my gosh, like Prince. Oh, oh, I hear a bell. Um, but Prince Cedric, it's such an honor to have you at the school. Okay, Cedric has introduced himself to the principal. Yes, again, she's like, it's such an honor to have you here. Like, this is, this is. Uh, it's such an honor. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so it's a big deal. And she wanted to meet him separately. And so he's learning about the new school. I did see some students already in the classroom, which is fast because they have like 33 minutes left. So these are like the on time students. So I don't know which class this, oh dear, you need to change into your uniform because you. I think you were just swimming. I don't know which class Cedric is going to be. And I guess we'll find out. Hopefully he'll be in the one with Tally. So at least he knows somebody. It looks like everyone's on their phone right now before it's starts. I think Cedric should, yeah, get ready for class. Okay, so he's, he's chatted with the principal. We have one class downstairs. I, oh, I, wait, I thought that was, oh, no, oh, oh, okay, this is the other classroom. Oh, this is a bigger class. I do have a mod, I'll link it below. I have a mod that lets you have more people, like more students at the high school. So I think I picked the one that's 18. There was one that's 24 and one that was like 30 something, I think. And then I have a mod where you can choose your classmates too, which was nice and helped a lot because I have some randos in the world and I didn't want them showing up. Um, so I'm not sure what class he's in. This one is definitely way big. Oh my gosh, is he in this one? He's not in the same class as Tally. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Everyone is on their phones right now. This is insane. Okay, so we're gonna meet them all too, just like really briefly. Y'all probably aren't gonna remember this and I won't either, but just for like, you know, to practice who is who. This is Lady Cassidy. She is one of the nobles. Oh, it doesn't help that they're all looking at their phone. So this is our Regina George. This is Chelsea White. Stone. We'll like learn their backgrounds and stuff later on too. This is Momo. This is Archer. This one is Kevin. This is Renata. This is Nora. And, or that's Lady Nora, so also one of the nobles. And then this is Lord Ataro, so he's also one of the nobles. He is from Dakarai. And then he's got a sister that's here as well. So this class is like so much smaller. So this is his sister, Lady McKenna. And then this is, of course, Lady Tal. We already know her. And then we have Ollie. We have Davy. Uh, this is Bahir. I, we're, okay, so we're definitely missing a f Where are my other mean girls? They should be here too. Okay, but like actually I just checked and they should um, be in, like the, they're already listed as one of the classmates. So I, I, I mean, I guess they're 16 minutes. Should I just teleport them? I'm gonna teleport them. Okay, okay, they're here. The other girl's name is Tiffany. So, uh, oh, okay, well, don't be like, you know, hold on. Okay, so the, these are all the mean girls. I don't know if they're all gonna be in this class because we're out of chairs in this class. This is Tiffany and this is Penny. So if you think about it, it's like, like if you're thinking mean girls, if you know mean girls, so we, this is our equivalent to Regina is Chelsea, our equivalent to Gretchen is Penny, and our equivalent to Karen is Tiffany. So of course, of course her name is Tiffany, right? Okay, so let, let me, let me add control and hopefully y'all stay here and go to school. <laughs> okay, well now she's just standing there. Penny at least left and class is about to start. Cedric is sitting all the way in the back of the class. I really think he wishes, I mean, although he's feeling inspired. Oh my gosh, they all just stopped the bell rang and they were all like, okay, that's enough. Although Tiffany, wait, this actually suits her so well, you guys. She's just standing there like she's supposed to be the dumb one <laughs> and she gets away with a lot of things. She's also a klepto. Um, oh, there she goes. Okay, she was just standing there like, what? Like, is am I missing something? Is something supposed to be happening right now? Oh, oh, right, it's class. <laughs> so that was actually so perfect for her character. Okay, so they're they're all in, in class right now. I'm gonna kind of like speed through this because 
I mean, I personally like the social aspects of things. I don't think math is going to be Cedric's best subject. He's more of like a creative person, language person. Like, if they ha could have an art class, I'm sure he would want to do that. Oh my god. Fire drill? It's the first day of school! Fire drill has sounded rule-abiding students evacuate- Wait, I've never actually seen a fire drill in, in the high school years pack before. Is Cedric- Cedric the only smart one who's leaving? Everyone else is just standing there? Oh, you dummies. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Good- good job, Cedric. You know what to do. And so do the adults and everyone else. What, have y'all ever had a fire? They're literally all still sitting, you guys. Okay, well, hopefully there's never a fire here. Be oh, there they go, there they go. They, I don't know, that might be a little bit too late, but they're, they're going, uh, they're at least going. Oh, this class is not. Okay, there we go, all right, yeah, good job, everyone. <laughs> wow, that took a second for them to go. Wait, Cedric, where are you going now? Jump? Wait, no, you're supposed to be in a fire. Well, there's not actually a fire, so uh, hopefully if there actually is one, I didn't even know this was a thing. Wait, the fire department is here. There's not actually a fire though. What do you do? Wait, I'm actually so interested. Oh, he came in to play chess. Oh, lovely. He was like, I'm just supposed to show. Oh, it's a girl, my bad. Uh, she was like, I'm just supposed to show. Wait a second. <laughs> this is the mother of like one of the most problematic novels. <laughs> This is Liam and Eloise's mom. Okay, I I, I need to change that. I, maybe she just offered to like volunteer. Maybe maybe some of the nobles and royals were like, maybe probably more of the nobles because they don't have as much to do, but um, they probably are like volunteering and she's not actually, like they didn't want to actually bother the fire department to come here for a drill. So she volunteered to pretend to be a <laughs> Okay, we're good, I think. I think the fire drill's almost over. Sadie, you're not supposed to be in here, but okay. Anyway, <laughs> I actually kind of want him to send uh, Sterling a text right now. Let's see. Send text. Who are you? Wait, this is another noble. Wow, the nobles really are just volunteering here. Okay, you don't, you don't need to be here. Just go away. Cedric acquired the fitness skill. I think he's swimming right now, um, although he is also texting Sterling. Text your sister too. We're gonna see her in just a sec but be like hey how, how's your day at university how's your first day where is she aha uh aha -huh, uh -huh. okay send text there you go oh he probably misses her so so much also it doesn't look like the other mean girls stayed maybe they're already playing hooky even though it's like the first day of school me oh my gosh what if i keep wanting to call her regina what if chelsea like told them to like is is playing a prank on them was like, oh yeah, we should totally play hooky, but then she actually doesn't, so it just makes them look bad. I can see her do it. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's so she can like charm Cedric and like befriend Cedric w without them there. Cedric is, okay, Cedric, hold on, you, you need to put your uniform back on, hun. So Cedric's talking to Kevin. Kevin is, let me see, friendly introduction. Kevin is, he oh, he's angry. Oh, why is he angry? Oh my God. Kevin is, here on scholarships so his dad is a single dad um owns a convenience store but he just like studied really hard so he could get into this school so he's here on scholarship it's such a being super nice wait they're already kind of friends like he's befriending him although why are you angry did did chelsea get to you did regina get to you chelsea's also talking to oh wait okay so cedric i think maybe he hasn't had a chance to meet the nobles of dakra yet which i don't think makes fun like as much sense since his dad's from Dr. Right? I don't know, maybe they were like super busy or something, but you, you should definitely introduce yourself. But uh, I, I just saw Chelsea talking to him and maybe she was also trying to like, I definitely think Chelsea's trying to charm all the nobles. Um, she also has a twin brother, which I, I haven't seen yet. He's also one of the ones, I say, I really hope they're here. But though, okay, we'll, we'll see them in the next, step. actually, you know what, no. We're going, we're going to teleport them all here. All right, I've teleported them all here, ignore the fact that they're all like, you know, in, in there. So maybe now Penny and Tiffany, they got back and they had played hooky for first period and now they were like, did you also, like, where were you? And she was like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, I, I like something happened. I had to go back and I, I didn't have my phone or like, I was too busy. I didn't want to answer school. something like that. And they were, they're just like, oh, okay, what the heck? <laughs> Oh, okay, that one's gone, that was weird. All right, but I 
think, where's Tally? She needs to be here to witness this. Tally, oh you should, maybe, oh or not, maybe not, maybe she's not here for this. So Chelsea is going to attempt an introduction with Cedric. I'm actually so curious to see how this is going to go because if it doesn't go well, Maybe Cedric has already heard about her and that like she's not actually that great because he trusts Tally with his life. So if Tally was getting a bad vibe from her, oh my gosh, she's screaming for him right now. She's like, oh my gosh, hi. And he he is so unfazed. Cedric is so unfazed by the, did that not work or did it? Wait, she was definitely just trying to throw on the charm. Did that not, oh my gosh, it didn't work. It didn't work. So now I think she's going to try to literally charm everyone else. Where are her girls? Oh, Oh, they're not here, hold on. Okay, we have like two hours left for lunch. So we, we've got time to see how this goes. I do need to Tally here though, so she can like, be like, oh my gosh, no, stay away from her. <laughs> Which I feel like would cause a bit of drama. Oh, she's really trying. Okay, Tiffany is wandering. Penny, I really don't think would leave Chelsea's side. So Penny like worships Chelsea so, so much. So she's like, uh, I, okay, so what if, what if Chelsea's like, oh my gosh, no, it like, it didn't work. You go try to befriend him. Uh, Cedric, where are you going? And Cedric's like, oh, no, I'm out of here. I don't want to be part of this. Oh, he's practicing his debate. Okay, well, Penny, do you want to go bother him while he's practicing? Are you practicing at the pool? Where are you going? Oh my God, are you going to practice in the locker room? Okay, well, never mind. Penny can't go. What if she tries? Wait, what if our Karen tries to come in? <laughs> Hold on. I don't think this is working. Cedric is so like, God, oh, no, please. Okay, okay. So Chelsea's twin brother, Colin, is coming down here to try to attempt an introduction instead on the request of his sister. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know if Cedric's actually gonna be receptive of people. They literally just scream in his face and he's like, yeah. <laughs> yes, hi. Oh no, now he's in bed. Oh, did that not work? Dang, Cedric's really, okay. All right, you have to be friendly to at least one of your classmates. I know technically you're already friendly to Kevin, but like, I don't think you'd be completely like, no, I'm too good for you. I'm not gonna talk to you. That doesn't really seem like Cedric. Oh, hello. Okay, all right, let's 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 see. All right, Cedric's gonna do, he'll he'll do a friendly introduction. Okay, there we go, there we go. So, so he was being a, a little bit more receptive. So spirited. It looks like Prince Cedric just befriended a spirited sim. Spirited sims have a lust for life, spreading good vibes. Oh yeah, totally. Oh yes, yes. I think he would totally love spirited sims. Okay, so maybe that's why he like, oh my gosh, is there a heart? Wait, <gasps> wait, Colin. Is that like a heart like, oh my gosh, it's the prince? Or is that a heart like, oh hello, it's the prince. <laughs> you are my favorite. Maybe he's like, you're my favorite royal. <laughs> is Cedric a Oh my, oh, oh, oh my gosh, wow, wow, they're hugging again, uh, wait, wait, but that, then that made their relationship go down, okay, so, let, let's see, so Colin, oh my gosh, they keep hugging, he must really be complimenting Cedric, like, so, so much, like, he, like, he's, like, flattering the crap out of Cedric, and now they're doing mischief interactions, although I can see Cedric being a little bit mischievous with this. Um, okay, where where is Tally? Where's your girl? Because like, we, we need her, well, she can't come into here, but uh, we need some guidance here. Also, I'm pretty sure that Sterling didn't text Cedric back. Can you, what if you call him during your lunch period? Oh. Oh, the bell's ringing. Chat, be like, hey, I miss you. Attend science. Oh, wait, don't call him at your science. Wait, there's 50 minutes left. Why are you? Okay, well, anyway, I should probably like not be controlling everybody anymore because otherwise it says that they're missing class. All right, Cedric is in science class now. You know what? There's 40 minutes left. Call, call your boy. Call Sterling. He didn't text you back. Just be like, hey, I miss you. Everyone else is on their phone anyway. Although maybe you shouldn't be talking like right, right in front of everybody. Go here, possible. Oh no, you're gonna just have this conversation here. Okay, that's that's fine. I can't believe him and Tally aren't in the same classroom. Like that, that sucks. Like the one friend that you have at prep school is not in your class. Okay, he's finished talking. Wait, where are you going? Wait, 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 wait. All right, go to class now. You, you sit here. Prince Cedric has always known his status as the favorite 
favorite, but the validation is still just as satisfying. Oh my gosh, Cedric. He's made a new friend. Okay. All right. Well, they're about to start class. I want some more interactions like after the class. So I'm just going to skip through the class because I don't think that much is going to happen. It's science. I don't, I don't think he's, he's not a big science person either. Okay. So school is done here, but I, I, we, we, we want to like interact with a few more people before we move on. Um, I think we're already getting some of the dynamics though. Like Cedric has made a few new friends. Oh, end of day report. Students and teachers have collected homework and dismissed the students. Some Sims are still hanging around, but everyone's free to head home. Prince Cedric seemed a little inattentive in class today. He should make sure his class skills are up before next week. Noted. Also, they're talking about prom. I feel like said like we're definitely going to end with prom in this series, but I feel like Cedric is oh he's trying with the principal. I feel like Cedric would really want to bring Sterling, although I don't know if Sterling's gonna be giving him a straight answer whether he can go or not yet. Everyone's kind of hanging out in here. It really looks like Chelsea is trying to butter up the nobles. Although now her twin brother is friends with him. Her brother seems a lot sweeter than her, so uh We'll, we'll kind of see what happens there. Okay, so there's like a protest going on, but Tally and Chelsea do not have a good relationship. I don't think Chelsea's twin brother is here, but maybe Cedric is like, oh, here, I want to introduce you to Kevin. I met Kevin, uh, let's see, uh, sit and chat here. I has to join football too. Oh, by the way, football here, I think is gonna be like rugby. I just think that makes more sense. I don't know if Cedric's gonna be joining after school. Maybe the drama club? That's a thing, right? Oh, we went to go talk. Oh, oh, okay. Um, clearly something's going on with Tally and Chelsea right now. Uh, Cedric is having a conversation with someone new. Um, this is Ollie. It looks, oh, they're getting along really well. Oh my God. I feel like Cedric's making all these friends and Tally does not seem to be having that great of a day. This should be interesting. All right, I, I, before we switch over to university and see how Alice May and William are doing, why don't you uh, join an after school activity and join the drama club? Okay, yeah, cheer team member, chess team member, cheer team member, drama club, football slash rugby scout. We're, we're gonna go with the drama club now hiring stage beginner. Okay, oh. The, oh, Alice and I would have loved to do this too in high school. Maybe she can do something at a university for this. All right, enjoy the drama club. An eventful day. I think that is good for like the, the first day here. But yeah, I think that, that now we kind of get it, a vibe of who everyone is. Let me know what like your predictions are for like what they, what are gonna happen. We didn't really get to hear that much from Sterling today. But now everyone's gonna, he's, he's gonna go home <laughs> and we'll see what happens with him in the next episode. But now we are going to go visit at Alice May and William at university. Okay, so we're now in Brightchester, and unfortunately the issue of like going back and forth between like Cedric and Alice May's story is that technically we passed the time when she was supposed to go to her class. So she's already been to her class, William's already been to their class. I'm gonna show you like their house, everything um, when we go back in just a moment. But right now, Alice May is at the library. It's after class. So she's working on the presentation, but she's getting along really well with this girl who is, I uh, probably has class with her she met her at the library she's like oh I have I'm like I'm working on that project too and they're like talking and they're like getting along so so well so this person that she has just become super close friends with suddenly is Kanda and some of y'all might remember Kanda she has made an appearance in our main series before so Alice May and Kanda she literally has like she did one introduction to her and they already got like a pretty high relationship so as far as majors and we'll talk about this in a moment too but William's actually at home um, at their flat and William and Alice May are both communications majors and Kanda is also a communications major um Anthony is her bodyguard. He's set as an NPC, but he's living with Alice May and William. So he's here because Alice May's here and technically pretend that he's like, you know, a uh, standing guard, like he's doing his job, but he's an NPC. So I'm not controlling him right now. Um, also her dog Benji's here. Oh, Benji, where did you? Be oh, I'm sure Kanda wants to be Benji. Attempt introduction. Can you attempt an introduction? She's probably like, oh my gosh, he is so, so cute. And then for those of you who know our main series, you know, Alice May's boyfriend. So Caspian 
is at Foxbury. They're a little bit long distance. So Caspian, he decided to be an economics major. He's getting a distinguished degree. So is Alice May, so is William, and so is Kanda, I believe. Then he is rooming with Graham, which is Alice May's best friend's boyfriend. Okay, yeah, so Graham uh, is also an economics major. They're both getting distinguished. What is happening, Benji? <gasps> is it because I said attempted introduction? That is, no, no, no. Oh my God, that was terrifying. Oh my God, okay, anyway. Ugh. Okay, so Graham is an economic major. Uh, Graham and Caspian are both rooming together at Foxbury. So we, we might hear from them every once in a while. We might check in with them, but of course the main focus here is gonna be Alice May William. But yeah, Alice May's just finishing up our project. She's having this great conversation. Let's see, capture information. It's a great conversation with, oh my gosh. I'm glad you don't think my lava jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me, they are bonding so much. Okay, so Canada's a bit of a partier. For those probably know that who know the main series. So it, it is Monday, but it's like the first day of classes. And I feel like Canada is the type to throw a party, celebrate the first day of classes. Just like let off a little steam. All right, she's leaving now, but she's invited Alice May and she's like, yeah, I'm having a party tonight. You're welcome to come by. And Alice May's like, okay, cool. Can I bring my, my cousin? And she's like, yeah. And can I bring my bodyguard? <laughs> then she's gonna stay home for that though. She's gotta work on her paper. She's gotta work on her homework. So I'm gonna make sure she gets that done before they go to the party. But she's gonna finish this up and then she's gonna head home and I'll show you guys her and William's place. Okay, so we are back at their townhouse and um, this whole time it was supposed to be fall for both Cedric. I almost said Cassidy. Uh, for both Cedric and Alice Bay. Yeah, it's supposed to be fall. So pr pretend, oh whoops. Pretend it's been fall this whole time. So we. We have, for those who have seen the Royal Twin Adventures miniseries, this is kind of like the Windenburg royal family. They've bought this house for any of their um, their members of their family that are attending university, attending Brightchester. It's kind of like a, what is it called? Uh, 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 oh dear. Oh, I'm going to have a sound dumb. It's the one, uh, Ultimator? Uh, wait, it's Legacy. It's a Legacy school. <laughs> Oh my god, I... Uh, never mind. Um, okay, so... <laughs> there's still some things I want to do to it, but it probably does look a little bit different than the last time you guys saw it. William is watching TV. He should be doing his homework, sir. Also supposed to give a presentation tomorrow, so I feel like you should start this team presentation. Start this too? Okay, Alice May's doing her homework too. So Alice May has come home. Oh, she's using William's desk. Oh, right, while they're doing that. So um, this is William's room. I'm, I need to fill this out more, although he seems like a bear boy, but um, this is the uh, his office, his desk. This is their living room. It's honestly probably my favorite part of the house. I love it a lot. Um, and then second floor. I, so ignore this. Oh, I also, we need to clean that up. Um, but this, I want to redo of it. This is Finn's room. So right, I mentioned him before, but this is Anthony Finnegan. He is Alice May, he's been Alice May's head bodyguard for like years. Like, I don't know, probably like over six years at this point. So he knows her pretty well. He's an NBC currently, but he's like at university with them. He's protecting her. She's got other uh, officers here too. And then we also have Alice May's room and uh, closet bathroom. There's another bathroom here. And then Alice May's little gaming room slash office, which she should probably be doing her homework in, but that's fine. And then Benji's bed and toy area. Um, also, so like for the, I, I feel like I didn't talk about this much. Like we talked about what it's like for Cedric to be a royal and attending prep school, but for Alice May being a royal and attending university. So her uncle Charles, he attended university. If you haven't seen that miniseries, I'll link it below as well. Um, but he was attending university. Alice May is way more known than Charles is though, because Alice May is the heir to the throne. However, so I'm basing a lot of this too off, uh, I haven't finished the book yet, but I'm, I was reading American Royals and it's very much like, it's just like a hypothetical hypothetical if America had a monarchy. And in there, the heir, she attends university. Uh, so I, I liked how she kind of explained it here. And I, I feel like it might be similar for Alice May where it's like, yeah, people know who she is. Like Charles, not a lot of, not as many people knew who he was. and. They, I think they both prefer it if people don't know who they are. Like Alice May, she just wants us to live life. Like she kind of just wants to be normal. But for her, it's a bit harder because people actually know who she is. But 
they have an agreement with the news stations and all of that because now she's she's actually technically not a young adult yet she just has a late birthday but she will be soon but a while ago they've had issues with the paparazzi so her parents um, they came up with an agreement with the news stations with the paparazzi people with the media saying that like anyone who's under 18 like you you can't you you can't like now now you cannot you can't take pictures of them you, like all that stuff is if they're under 18 they need permission so now she's almost 18 not quite there yet but her parents have already like they are coming to an agreement with the media and saying like leave her alone while she's at university and we will set benji is obsessed with things around the house oh dear okay but uh they were like leave, leave just leave her alone let her live go let her go to university in turn she'll make appearances for things like and we'll keep you informed when she's going to things that she wants her pictures taken at that she's giving you permission to take pictures at they'll send like a picture to the paparazzi like it's like a trade kind of to leave her alone um i feel like it should be illegal but i don't think it can be in, in all the kingdoms so Anyway, so that's what's going on, but a lot of the students here, they know who she is, but I think for the most part, they do try to leave her alone. However, we will probably have people fangirling over her throughout this series. I, I mean, The Sims do that anyway. There's nothing really to do to stop that, but I think for the most part, they'll try to leave her alone. If she's going to like the library, I think she's really going to start really like studying there. She just, Alice Bay is, has a bit of ADD, ADHD. So she just like needs to be in another place to do her homework. Otherwise she can't focus. So she was there earlier. And then when she goes to the library or security, they do like a sweep of everything before she comes in. Um, and then Finn obviously stays there with her and yeah, so that's kind of like everything. Their situation here, William's trying to study hard, although he's 10. From disliking the music, well, should we turn it off? What is this? Having a bad time? William, please, sir. <laughs> okay, well, Alice May's gonna talk to William and tell him just like, hey, it's like nine o'clock, but y'all, Oh, okay. I don't know if it's like this everywhere. I don't know if it was every party. I remember it when I went to college, parties wouldn't like start until 12 a.m. Like you, people wouldn't go. Like there'd be like a like a pre-party thing, but then like you wouldn't go to an actual party until 12 a.m. I had way more energy back then. I do not now. I'm like a party at 12 a.m. That sounds awful. I want to be in bed by then, but it's nine o'clock. So I really don't even think that's that early for a party. Maybe the party starts at like 10. Williams, oh, he's still working on his presentation, but Alice May's gonna tell him, be like, hey, I met someone. To oh, they're hot. They're cute. They're cute cousins. But Alice May is like, hey, do you want to go to a party tonight? Night, maybe we can meet some people like it's it will be the university experience and William's like sure I like a party so they're gonna go to a party. I mean William's gotta finish his homework so let me let me actually just do that project real quick Alice May's already finished some of hers but then they're gonna they're gonna go to a party and I'll just skip to that okay so we are now at Kanda's residence she actually happens to live very close to Alice May so they they literally could just walk on over so Kanda is so she has three other roommates so there's four people here so this is uh Celie, this is jaya and this is yasmin they're having their little party here um so alice may has just arrived she's talking to kanda she's like wait my cousin is here somewhere which i actually have no idea where he is they they came with they came together where are you sir ah haha william okay william come here Come hither. She, oh, can you, you can't call him over yet because it's too, f okay, he's coming upstairs. Good, 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 good. Oh, good, he's here. Okay, so she's like, William, hey, hey, hey. Oh my God, wait, this is perfect. He just sat right there or, or stood right there. He's like, hey, this is my friend Kanda who I met. And William is like, hold on, let's see. Actions, control, sim. Oh my God, he's feeling flirty. <laughs> that was really fast. Okay, okay. So I see this as he met Kanda. And um, I was like, whoa. <laughs> and Alice Bay like nudges him. And he's like, what? She's hot. And then Kanda sees him and is like, oh my God, you dated Gia. Because Kanda's friends with Gia. And um, for those who know my main series, um, doesn't have the best idea of Gia right now. He found out she ended up hooking up with an old friend of his for the biggest then and well. So he's like, oh yeah, do you know her? And Kanda's like, yeah, I'm like, I'm friends with her. And William's like, 
<laughs> William's like, oh, okay. And Alice May standing there kind of awkwardly. Alice May's feeling very confident right now though. Okay, so because of that, I feel like Williams might be a little bit rude as, uh, not like just kind of like a, oh, I, I'm still kind of upset with G, oh dear, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's introduced himself to Kappa and now William is like, okay, I need a drink. Um, I, I'm gonna go have a drink. All right, so William's just gonna grab a cup. Grab a cup of, oh, this is kind of like, oh dear. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this one. Um, sure, grab a, a cup there too. All right, and Candace's like, oh, let me introduce you to my roommate. So here we, oh, 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 so he's flirting with somebody here. But let's see, why don't you come up here and introduce yourself? So now Alice May can have a few other friends. Kenna found out that Alice May's a dog lover, yes. Oh, you know what? Alice May might have to introduce herself to these people because she's a celebrity, so I don't know how well that's going to work. But she's introducing herself to all of Kanda's roommates. I don't think Kanda, like, like she kind of knows her roommates. Maybe, okay, they're, they're like, I feel like this is, they're not like a friends that have gone. I feel like all of her roommates are also from, some, cause Kanda's from a noble family in Ching Ching, which is not part of the Alliance, but her sister is the countess, right? Yes, okay, her sister's the countess. Oh my gosh, this is so cute, they're all chatting. Wait, Kanda, come here, go here. Go here, okay. All right, oh, Alice May's meeting, meeting new friends. So yeah, I don't even think Canada knows it very well, but like they, they, I feel like would get, oh, sure, single and loving it, Tibbs. Sure. Oh, maybe Seely just, maybe Seely just got out of a, a, a relationship and Canada's like, it's okay. Being single is awesome. <laughs> just do that. Like you're in, you're at university, you do you. She's like, listen, I know like you're kind, oh my God, look at William. <laughs> William's so socially awkward. Oh, oh, Finn is with him too. This is hilarious, actually. Okay, but yeah, Ken is like, D girl, just be single. It's okay. Being single is great. I love that they're all having this girl time here. Oh my gosh. But why don't we go? It's a party. Let's all go dance. Where's the uh, the speakers up here? Let's see. Let's dance here. Okay, so it looks like Kanda is flirting with this dude, uh, Leon Tor. A lot of people here just look like frat bro. This is Leon and things are get- Oh, they're having their first kiss. Oh, okay. Well, things are getting steamy. Alice May's dancing. <laughs> Finn's doing push-ups. I guess Finn is- I don't know why this is still green. I, I tried to reset it and that didn't work. Um, but I, I guess Finn is trying to intimidate anybody who tries to come near Alice May. I love that he's doing this like right at Alice May's feet. Kenna has learned Leon's woohoo interests. Oh, oh, there- wait, 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 they're going somewhere. Are they going to woo? I guess so. Okay, well, oh, now Alice May is like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right, that's what they were gonna do. Alice May, maybe you should get to know <laughs> so you know other people here. Uh, Cause Ken is off doing her own thing. Uh, you guys can dance together. Who is this? Amber Wilson. Well, how, uh, how do you introduce her? Hello, hello. Can she not just do a friendly introduction? At least Finn, oh wait, where's William to act? Uh, William is, <gasps> William, William! William, I left you alone for five seconds. Okay, well, oh, 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 they're still going. Hannah, uh, who, what's your name again? I'm sorry. I don't actually remember his name and he's not telling me his name. I also have no idea whose room is who. Okay, but poor Alice May, like she's literally j Alice May! Wait, did she see? Wait, they're asleep now, they're asleep now. Privacy event, oh my God, she did see it. She, I didn't see her like react though. What a bad joke. Wait, William, William. Oh my God, William just walked right by her without saying anything. He's like, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, my cousin. Oh my God. <laughs> Alice May sees this. Oh, what's your name, JC? Jace, Jay, ah! Okay, but, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Canada, girl, I love the confidence I do, but like, <laughs> oh, oh, wait, where did Alice May go? Wait, wait, Alice May's like, ah, <laughs> damn, she's like, I'm going back to dance. She's like, oh my God, what did I just walk into? Wait a second, William. 
Oh my god, William's doing push-ups. William's doing push-ups. Okay, well, I think that's enough chaos for one episode. So, um, I think we're gonna end it here. So, we're gonna find out what happens in the next episode. Uh, I'm gonna find out who the heck Jay-Z is. Uh, find out if we're gonna see a little bit more about him. If William's gonna see him again. Like, if this was just a hookup or, like, what was going on. We're gonna see way more with... Cedric and all his new classmates in the next episode. Uh, let me know in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button. But yeah, I'm excited for the rest of this mini series and to see what the heck is gonna happen. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.